Shutterfly's custom path has many powerful capabilities that allow you to be creative and design photo book pages that are one of a kind. The following tutorials will provide you with an overview of the advanced features that are available to help you customize your book just the way you want. Shutterfly has many pre-designed layouts for you to choose from. Our idea pages combine layout and embellishments for a quick way to get a beautiful design in one click. Click on the idea pages icon to review what's available in your style. Different ideas exist for cover and interior pages. If you find one you like, click on the design to apply it to the page. From there, you can make additional edits, including updating the text, and changing the background colors with a few clicks of the mouse. If you'd like to explore idea pages from other styles, click on the Get More Idea Pages link and use our filter to find relevant layouts by occasion. Each style has default text settings for text boxes which appear on pages. If you have a preferred font, size, or color that you'd like to use throughout the book, you can modify the defaults. Click on the Page menu, click on the Text Settings, and then select the font, size, alignment, and color you'd like the defaults to be. These changes can be applied to the entire project or just one page. You may have a favorite background or layout that you wish to apply throughout every page of your book. If that is the case, select the page that already has the preferred layout, background, or border. Then under the Page menu, click on Apply to Other Pages. Select the element you'd like to apply to all the pages in your project and hit Apply. You can easily preview the changes by clicking on the Pages view at the bottom of the page and scrolling through the book. If you don't like your selection, click Undo and the change will be reverted. If you use advanced editing mode a lot to create customized layouts, you probably want to use our keyboard shortcuts to move more easily in and out of that view of your book. You can see these shortcuts when you click on the page menu. Control or Command D will move you in and out of advanced editing mode. Control or Command B will add a text box, and Control or Command E will add a photo area to the page. These elements can easily be moved and resized to fit your design. And of course, Control or Command S will save the work as you make changes. Your project is auto-saved every 7 to 10 minutes as you work. You can always note the time of the last save at the top of the project next to the book title. As you add elements to your page in advanced editing mode, you will find the Align, Space, and Match options as incredibly helpful tools to making your design just right. You can add photo spaces and text boxes by clicking on the icons in the upper navigation 
or using keyboard shortcuts found in the Pages menu. Here I've added three photo boxes. Let's say you want to make these three boxes equally sized and aligned along a horizontal axis. First size one box to meet your specifications. Then select the other page elements by holding down the control or command key and clicking on the other photo boxes you wish to have match the first. Go to the match menu and select match width and height and the boxes will all be resized to match the first. Now if you want to move these photo boxes to align horizontally, select the first box you want to align with and then hold down the control or command key and select the others. Go to the Align menu and choose Align Top Edges. Finally, to even out the spacing of these elements, move them along the horizontal axis to have them fill the space. Select all the photo boxes and under the Space menu, select Even Out Horizontal Spacing. You can then move these elements anywhere on the page. You can also use these commands for text boxes. I've added three text boxes to the page. Resize your first text box and then hold down the Control or Command key to select the other text boxes. And when all three are selected, go to the Match menu and select Match Width and Height to make all three of them the same. Then to align the boxes, select the text box to align with and hold down Control or Command and select the other two. Under the Align menu, select Align Bottom Edges and the text boxes will move to match the command. Then to ensure that the text boxes are evenly spaced, you can move the third text box to the right and then select all three boxes by holding down the Control or Command key. And under the Space menu, select even out horizontal spacing. Finally, embellishments can also be matched, aligned, and spaced with the same tools. First add them to the page by clicking on the embellishment or dragging it to the page. Then select all the embellishments, holding down the Control or Command key and clicking on each one, and use the Align and Space menus to make the design just the way you want it to look. You'll see blue guidelines show up to help you visually align elements in advanced editing mode as well. Another important tool in the advanced editing mode is Layer. Elements such as text boxes, photos, and embellishments may need to be layered for your page design to be perfect. In this case, I want the photo boxes to be in front of the embellishments. I select each photo box one at a time and then under the Layer menu, select Bring to Front. At any point along the way, you can undo your latest change and go back to the previous version. Our Undo functionality remembers the last 20 actions you took. Adding frames to photo boxes are a fun way to enhance your page design. Frames can be found in the embellishments section along with stickers and ribbons. Each style has a pre-curated selection of frames to use. You can add more by clicking on the Get More Frames link at the top of the menu.
You can apply the same frame to all photo spaces on the page by selecting the page and clicking on the frame. If you want to put different frame colors on different photo boxes on the same page, simply drag the frame on top of the box you wish to put it around. You may have worked hard on customizing a page just the way you like it and now want to use it again on a different page in the same project. That's easy to do. Simply select the page you wish to duplicate and under the Page menu, select Duplicate Page. You can then modify any elements on the page as you need, swapping out photos or adding new text. If you wish to move the page to a different area of the project, click on the Pages tab at the bottom of the project. Click on the page you want to move and then drag it to the right position in the book. You can also flip any page layout, whether it's one you've designed or one that appears in our Layouts or Idea Pages area. First select the page to flip, and then select Flip from the Page menu. Shutterfly's photo books support spread layouts that allow photos, text, and embellishments to be spread across two facing pages. To make facing pages into a spread, you can either choose a Spread Layout from the Layouts tab, or if you wish to create a custom spread, under the Page menu, select Make Spread. Then start to drag elements onto the page. Keep in mind where the gutter of the book is and try to avoid putting text and faces into that portion of the book. You can also split a spread if you want to undo the spread layout on the page you've created. You can find this command when on a spread layout under the Page menu. If you have one or more spread layouts in your book, we recommend upgrading your binding to one of our two lay flat options found in the Book menu. Our standard lay flat option adds a hinged binding to our standard matte finish paper or the Deluxe Lay Flat option is a seamless presentation of your page printed on a double thick satin finish paper. In addition to the backgrounds, embellishments, idea pages, and layouts that come with the style you select for your book, there is an enormous library of thousands of others to choose from. Click on the Get More link at the top of each tab to section to explore the library of elements available to you. There's a helpful search box to find embellishments that fit your needs. Or use our filters to find elements in relevant groupings. For example, filter backgrounds by color. Scrolling over the element will give you a bigger preview. If there are elements that you think you'll use in multiple photo book projects, consider favoriting these elements by clicking on the heart in the bottom left hand corner. Your favorites can then quickly be found again and again in every project you start by selecting Get More 
and then filtering for your favorites, whether they are embellishments, backgrounds, layouts, or idea pages. To add a favorite element to your new project, you need to select it. Selecting is different than favoriting. Favoriting does not add an element to your project. To select an element, click on it, and a thin red box will appear and it will be counted as selected in the message near the Add to Project button. Elements with the S oval in the right hand bottom corner are part of our premium storytelling collection and may have an additional charge associated with them. Pricing can be found by scrolling over the S. The extra charge is only applied if the element is added to a page in your project. The charge is not applied if you just add it to your project but never use it. Once you have added the element to your book, you can apply it to whatever page you wish. As your library of Shutterfly projects grows, you may wish to import a page you designed from a previous book to the new project you're working on. To do that, go to the Pages menu and click on Import Page. Select the project you wish to import the page from. Then, click on the page in the book you wish to import. You will be prompted to select where to add the page to your project. The page will be added to your project with all the photos, text, and embellishments as it was originally created. The page can then be easily modified with new photos, text, and backgrounds as desired. As you work towards completing your photo book, you may wish to reorganize the order of the pages in your project. If moving the pages is just a spread or two away, the quickest way to arrange pages is to select the Pages tab at the bottom of the screen. Then find the page you wish to move, select it with your mouse, and drag it to the location in the book you wish to have it appear. The red line indicates where the page will be dropped. If your book is longer or your change is more complex, you may choose to arrange your pages by selecting the Arrange view at the top of the screen. To move a page in this view, select the page by clicking on the page number and then moving it to the new place in the project. You'll notice if you select a page that is part of a spread, the whole spread will move. Spreads can't be moved in the middle of another two pages, and single pages can't be dropped to split a spread. The Arrange Page view is also a great place to delete extra pages that sometimes accumulate in your book as you design your project. You can delete pages by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner of each page. As you design your pages, you may see warnings appear as yellow exclamation points. You can see all warnings by viewing the Pages view of your book. Scrolling over the warning on each page will alert you to what the problem is, and you can adjust the design to remove the warnings. Changing the page may require you to go into the advanced editing mode to move elements around the page or resize them. You can enlarge the book for an easier preview of the pages by clicking on the preview link at the top of the page. Further zooming in on the page using the Zoom feature will allow you to read the text more easily on your computer screen. Many PhotoBook customers like to use our PDF download functionality for final preview step. To export your project as a PDF, go to the Project menu and select Export to PDF. 
a dialog box will ask you if you want to export the page or entire book. The PDF file will have a watermark on each page. The PDF can be printed on your local computer for easier review and markup. Once you've identified edits you need to make, return to the path to complete your project. As you finalize your book, you may decide to order additional copies but want to do so in another size. Don't worry, you don't have to recreate your project but can easily copy and resize it. First, save the existing project as a new one by clicking on the project menu and selecting Save As and filling in a new name. Then click on the Change Size item in the project menu. A dialog box will ask what size you wish to change it to. We recommend changing the size in the same aspect ratio as your original project for best results. It is important to review your project page by page after making this change to ensure that all the text and layouts will print well. Make sure to save the project again to retain the new size. Both projects will then be available in My Projects. Shutterfly books have different cover and binding options depending on the size of the book you have selected. Before finalizing your order, click on the Book tab to see your choices. Projects are usually defaulted to photo hardcover with standard binding. Then for most sizes of books, you can upgrade the pages to glossy, standard lay flat, or deluxe lay flat binding. Or choose a different cover choice, including soft cover, matte cover, and several cloth and leather options. As you can see, I changed to matte hard photo cover and glossy pages, as well as a memorabilia pocket. These upgrades are reflected in the receipt located by the project name. Changes to these book options cannot be made from the cart, so if you wish to make any final changes to the project, you will need to remove the project from your cart and then reopen it in the creation path to visit the book tab again to remove the memorabilia pocket or change the binding or cover type.